Peace. Y'all wanted to take this time and moment to build um, on today's math, which is knowledge equality. And um, going to the idea of talking about today's degree in a one of 40. When you knowledge your equality, you know what role, you know what position you play, you know what your duties and responsibilities are as a man and as a woman. Because equality means to be equal in all things. And that means that everything that you deal with in your life, every facet of your life, you have to be well-rounded and balanced in. That means that you have to do things in moderation. You have to consider the circumstances. You got to make sure that all areas are covered. You have to ensure yourself, you know? So when we deal with today's degree in a one of 40, it asks, who's the 5% of the poor part of the planet Earth? Answer. They are the poor righteous teachers who do not believe in the teachers of the 10%. Those who are all wise and know who the true and living God is. And teach that the true, the true and living God is the supreme being, son of man, black man of Asia, who teach freedom, justice, and equality to all human families of the planet Earth. Otherwise known as civilized people, also Muslim and Muslim sons. So what is that degree talking about? Well, that degree is talking about who is who and what they do. They tell you who the 5% is and what we teach. That's knowing your role and position of who you are and what you're supposed to do. I'll give you a prime example, right? When you don't acknowledge your equality, that'll be just like a point guard playing center. That's not your role. You know what I'm saying? That's like a father <laughs> scientifically scientifically irrefutable evidence that this is a fact. A man trying to have a baby. That's not your role. It's not your position. That's a woman's position. Why? Because she's the life bearer. You're the life giver. So when we're talking about who the five percent is and what we teach it tells you right there in that lesson i don't know what's so so difficult about it it's all in there the understanding is in the wisdom it tells you who the five percent is which is the poor righteous teachers right and then they sell you what they don't believe who do not believe in the teachers of the ten percent who are all wise and know who the true living God is. And teach that the almighty true living God is the supreme being, son of man, black man of Asia. Who teach freedom, justice, and equality. That's the what right there. That's what we teach. Freedom, justice, and equality. To all human families of the planet Earth. So, why are we on the poor part see um see when people they got the question they say well why is the five percent settled on the poor part? why is who's the five percent on this poor part of the planet earth right and they look at the poor part like we're poor no we're not poor literally that's a it's not it's a metaphor it's, it's, it's symbolic to something. So when you're talking about poor, that means a deficiency. That means the lack of certain things in the area of life that you don't have. We are the poor righteous teachers because we teach where people, we teach in areas where people don't teach and lack in. We give in areas where people don't give and lack in. We show people things that other people won't show them because they choose not to. Because they are grimy, gritty, and don't want you to be where they're at. And that's the 10%. That's the group of people that just want you to be, you know, all high and ditty. But when you down and out, they can't help you either because you know why? They have a hidden agenda with you. They trying to get right with you and then, then book off. But um, the poor... You know, when you look at the word poor, it looks like weak. You know what I'm saying? A weak area of life. 
So the five percent who's all wise and know who the children of God is, we teach freedom, justice, and equality. We teach to strengthen those areas in your life where you're poor at. We do this freely. This has no, this has no limit of time for who and what we teach. We can teach this all day, every day. It's the person that's willing to learn that has to want to want learn this. To turn them poor parts into your best parts. Turn your worst parts into your best parts. Now notice that this degree didn't say worse. It said poor. Because poor means lack. When you don't have enough of something that you need. So the role of the five the role of the five percent is here to teach. We teach freedom, justice, and equality. We know that the 85% are illiterate and ignorant. We know that their mind is like a desert that's 14 million square miles. We know that. But we have to give them the knowledge of the culture in order for them to know where their power lies at. And then once they know where their power lies at, then they know where they stand at. See, knowledge equality is just basically knowing where you stand at as a man. Knowing how to set the tone, knowing how to set the trend, knowing how to blaze the trail. But sometimes us as men, we don't do that because we act like we get so effeminized that we want other people to help us out when we could be our own man and stand on our own too and do our own thing. Because the science of God is understanding. The science of God is understanding. Hmm. If you look at understanding, it has 13 words. It has 13 letters in it. One and three. When you bring one and three together, you get what? A letter B. To be or not to be. So knowledge and understanding is one and the same because it's like father, like son. From boys to men. So we have to teach freedom, justice, and equality to all human families, even these men out here, especially these original men, because they're poor in certain areas and performing poorly in certain areas. Relationships, companionships, being a father, being a good brother, being a good upstanding citizen, being a good man. These are all things that the 5% teach, but we teach you because we want you to uphold and adhere to the law of the land. Because we, as the 5%, don't disrespect the law of the land. We adhere to the laws of the land. A law itself told you to obey the laws of the land and obey the laws of the government. So why wouldn't you give them that much respect to do that? If we're poor, righteous teachers. So... Today's degree is explaining and it's telling you where you're supposed to stand at, who you are, and what you're supposed to be doing as the person you are. You know what I mean? So we have to take the time and energy to constantly study our lessons, constantly be around the gods and the earth, and live out a law's mathematics. Supreme mathematics. And for those of you guys that are lacking or are poor in the area, that knowledge that you got, that's your equality. Because the knowledge that you have, somebody shared it with you. I'm quite sure somebody did. And the knowledge that you possess, you learned. It's either one or two ways you got the knowledge. You learned it, somebody taught you, or you gained it. Or oh, that's three things. Do experience. So always, always know your position and know your role. Know who you are and where you stand at and what you're supposed to do as a man. Because God is nothing but a man at his highest peak of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The original man is the supreme of all beings. He's the most highest form of living mathematics on the planet. 
Every man is God of his own cipher, his own mind, his own self. The devil's God of six. Allah is Lord of all worlds. Heavens above, that's the earth below, as it within the earth. Just and true, and there's no unrightness in him. Now, unseen, for he's seen and heard everywhere, for he's an all eye seeing. With that being said, you guys have a blessed day. Stay beautiful, positive, prosperous. Be fruitful. Get money this year. 2021 is a new year. Blackjack. Peace.